yeah, where yeah. He, he, he refuses like, he refuses yeah. to commit fully to either, but but sees value in both and sees value in or, or rather Christian he understands that well, it doesn't matter if you believe or not because um, there'll be situations out here where that's what you need to get you through in the same way as you need a certain medicine to get you through this. So just <laughs> a certain amount of gin, a pure gin. Yeah, apparently. Pure gin. Just, so just take the fucking thing and you know don't worry about it you don't have to rally against it kind of no i was gonna say all that stuff though is so buried in there like if that was brought out like the the fact that it's boiled down to him finding god at the, do, do you know what I mean? it's a bit too uh it's a bit too black and white i i, I don't feel there is um I don't feel there is any two ways about it, right? It's, it feels very spoon fed um, toward at, by the end of the film. Uh, I'm not sure if there is any ambiguity. Um, and it's been, you know, and after two hours and 20 minutes as well to just be given that, I was like, oh, oh all right. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's fair play. But I would still argue that the ending and his conversion, Rock Hudson's conversion, is ambiguous. So yeah, it's, not, I don't think it's, it's, like, it's not like he's had an epiphany. He just said, thank God. Well, see, if that was, like you were saying, if it was, that would be make for a more interesting film. If they made more of a case for, he's almost like a fair weather friend to religion, like now he believes. Um, until something else comes along and and he gets annoyed again. And his character was made out to be kind of churlish and and petty and and kind of reactionary. That would be something. But he is essentially the the hero of the piece, right? So he's a he's he's not perfect, but I still think we're supposed to identify with him as you know our our. We're on board, okay, but it, it's it's not it's not a full on conversion, you know. It's it's not an epiphany. It's not a, a it's it's not a, a telegraphed out epiphany at the end of the film. I, I think just, it is. I think it is. It, it it may be, but I think it's if if it is, it's subtle. You think there's room for interpretation? Um, I think I, I actually think there is because. Right. All, all he said was, please, God, please, God, get me away from these savages who are shooting fucking blow darts at me or whatever the fuck it is. And then him waking up in the hospital saying, thank God. Yeah. Well, the thing is, so, when you, you, so that's, not, that's not kneeling in front of a crucifix in a church going. Oh. Well, as well, I, I think that the, the other thing no. is, we could go around and around, but I think the thing is as well is you you've I you've engaged with the film more than I have. Mm. Uh, so so it's it's of more interest to you to kind of pass it, whereas I don't really give a shit. So, <laughs> so I wasn't <laughs> really looking for no no, I don't mean I I, I, I so I wasn't oh, well, I yeah, I wasn't really looking I, and there. I would say funny if I'm right between the, the two of you on this. Um as I, as I remember, is it no? Is it is it John? What's the best place to be? Is in a man Mr. sandwich, Mister um, Moderation over here, Mister Moderation. Um, but uh, is it is it is it Baudrillard? Who's who's the fucking French guy who had this whole thing about how you could run like you can read anything and find like a counter message in it, right? That like that like maybe there's this thing, but like yeah, you could basically like look for this kind of get really granular and find oh actually although. 1984 may appear to be a book condemning totalitarianism. There are these grains of like endorsement in it, you know. Um, but this um, is Jean Paul Gaultier. Oh, okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, so, what I would say is like, if I look at this whole film, and, I, and, I, and this is why I kind of do see what what you're saying, Darren, is that like there's actually far more time in the film given over to his rant against. The church and the abuses of his father and the, his lack of faith coming from a very real lived experience right and so this you know like on the road to damascus come to jesus moment at the end which is very 
hand wavy and facile and like really not detailed and it's there's no explanation there's no like lengthy monologue at that moment it seems very weak to me yeah. compared to the strength right. of his right. irreligiousness earlier in the film right. and then we get this kind of like man i did That's feel like point. there was a lack, a lack of you know a uh, strong feeling on the part of either the director or the writer or the actors in lip service lip yeah yeah it just felt it felt like like well you know <laughs> this is going to be released in america and we just i would just like to add to that as well i just uh, worth pointing out in case anyone else is having the same problems. I used to have a really, really, really filthy, filthy toilet before I had my road to Domestos movement. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> You're a typical well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, That was terrible. That's, I, th I think that's where it's going to end. I'm that, actually, yeah, like, you need to cut it off right there. I'm that's quite it. ashamed of myself now. Road to no. Domestos, that's... Right. That's it. That's it. No, no, no one, that's no one it. That's where you cut it off. Else. I'm literally mm. hanging my head in shame. And yeah, stop the podcast now. Mm -hmm. oh, God.